Well, from Kaduna states, now residents are grown in the non-availability of cash to make transactions. Uh, many of them who besieged ATM terminals in the metropolis lament the hardship they go through economically as they do not have access to cash, even at the banking hall. Plus, the Venice correspondent Habila Durofa's report is presented from our studios. <laughs> Customers spend hours in ATM queues just to get cash. The situation is sad as terminals are not dispensing. <laughs> they allege that the new Naira nodes have been hijacked by some individuals as they urge the Apex Bank to take appropriate actions against Aaron Banks. Some of the customers are also bothered about the 10 day extension, said it will not ease the sufferings of the masses. There's some stories that they say that the first batch of money that they disbursed to banks, that the politicians has hijacked the money. So the bank cannot even issue out the new currency because politicians have hijacked the money because of the election that is forthcoming. That is what we had. And as it is now, money is so scarce. If you go to POAs, they are charging 1,500 now for new currency. Who does that? It's not good for us. For 10,000 naira, they are charging you 1,500 for new currency. Then 500 naira for old currency. That's what they are charging us for POAs. Somebody like me coming to stand under this sun. This is man, inhumanity to man. Punishment. No clue. I bought fuel 340 naira a day before yesterday. As I'm coming, so it's almost finished. So what is it with the government? No money, no fuel. Life is horrible. However, the Central Bank of Nigeria is on ground to monitor compliance from the commercial banks in the state. James Marman is a Deputy Director of Operations of the Apex Bank in Kaduna. He gives his assessment. Certainly there will be appropriate penalties for banks that fail to dispense their money, money in their vaults. But in the case of this bank, we discovered that the money was actually sitting in their vaults where the ATMs were not dispensing anything and customers were loitering around. Quite a number of them are open and they are transparent and they are very committed to the project. Some of them actually have failed to do what needs to be done in line with the guidelines that they were issued. And therefore this exercise is to monitor and ensure compliance with the directives of CBA. The residents continue to lament poor services from the commercial banks or calling on authorities to provide other denominations for ease of transactions. They give you ATM cards to come here, that's why it's crowded. They don't give money inside. You must have an ATM to withdraw your money. That's what they're doing inside. And the maximum withdrawal of money here is 20,000. If it's not your bank, it's 10,000. Only the new one, the 20 era, 15 era, it's not in circulation. So they should provide that to the CBN has vowed to take decisive actions against any commercial bank which fails to meet the guidelines issued to them to facilitate transactions while appealing to the public to use other means. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.